The chronology protection conjecture is a conjecture by physicist Stephen Hawking that the laws of physics are such as to prevent time travel on all but submicroscopic scales. The permissibility of time travel is represented mathematically by the existence of closed time-like curves. The chronology protection conjecture should be distinguished from chronological censorship under which every closed time-like curve passes through an event horizon, which might prevent an observer from detecting the causal violation origin of the term. In a 1992 paper, Hawking uses the metaphorical device of a chronology protection agency as a personification of the aspects of physics that make time travel impossible at macroscopic scales, thus apparently preventing time paradoxes. He says, it seems that there is a chronology protection agency which prevents the appearance of closed time-like curves and so makes the universe safe for historians. The idea of the chronology protection agency appears to be drawn playfully from the time patrol or time police concept, which has been used in many works of science fiction such as Paul Anderson's series of time patrol stories or Isaac Asimov's novel The End of Eternity. The Chronology Protection Case, an oft-reprinted novelette by Paul Levinson, posits a universe that goes so far as to murder any scientists who are close to inventing any means of time travel, general relativity and quantum corrections. Many attempts to generate scenarios for closed time-like curves have been suggested, and the theory of general relativity does allow them in certain circumstances. Some theoretical solutions in general relativity that contain closed time-like curves would require an infinite universe with certain features that our universe does not appear to have, such as the universal rotation of the Gödel metric or the rotating cylinder of infinite length known as a tipler cylinder. However, some solutions allow for the creation of closed time-like curves in a bounded region of space-time, with the Cauchy horizon being the boundary between the region of space-time where closed time-like curves can exist and the rest of space-time where they can't. One of the first such bounded time travel solutions found was constructed from a traversable wormhole, based on the idea of taking one of the two mouths of the wormhole on a round-trip journey at relativistic speed to create a time difference between it and the other mouth. General relativity does not include quantum effects on its own, and a full integration of general relativity and quantum mechanics would require a theory of quantum gravity. But there is an approximate method for modeling quantum fields in the curved space-time of general relativity, known as semi-classical gravity. Initial attempts to apply semi-classical gravity to the traversable wormhole time machine indicated that at exactly the moment that wormhole would first allow for closed time-like curves. Quantum vacuum fluctuations build up and drive the energy density to infinity in the region of the wormholes. This occurs when the two wormhole mouths, called them A and B, have been moved in such a way that it becomes possible for a particle or wave moving at the speed of light to enter mouth B at some time T2 and exit through mouth A at an earlier time T1, then travel back towards mouth B through ordinary space, and arrive at mouth B at the same time T2 that it entered B on the previous loop. In this way the same particle or wave can make a potentially infinite number of loops through the same regions of spacetime, piling up on itself. Calculations showed that this effect would not occur for an ordinary beam of radiation because it would be defocused by the wormhole so that most of a beam emerging from mouth A would spread out and miss mouth B. But where the calculation was done for vacuum fluctuations, it was found that they would spontaneously refocus on the trip between the mouths, indicating that the pile-up effect might become large enough to destroy the wormhole in this case. Uncertainty about this conclusion remained because the semi-classical calculations indicated that the pile-up would only drive the energy density to infinity for an infinitesimal moment of time, after which the energy density would die down. 
but semi-classical gravity is considered unreliable for large energy densities or short time periods that reach the Planck scale. At these scales, a complete theory of quantum gravity is needed for accurate predictions. So, it remains uncertain whether quantum gravitational effects might prevent the energy density from growing large enough to destroy the wormhole. Stephen Hawking conjectured that not only would the pileup of vacuum fluctuations still succeed in destroying the wormhole in quantum gravity, but also that the laws of physics would ultimately prevent any type of time machine from forming. This is the chronology protection conjecture. Subsequent work in semi-classical gravity provided examples of spacetimes with closed time-like curves where the energy density due to vacuum fluctuations does not approach infinity in the region of spacetime outside the Cauchy horizon. However, in 1997 a general proof was found demonstrating that according to semi-classical gravity, the energy of the quantum field must always be either infinite or undefined on the horizon itself. Both cases indicate that semi-classical methods become unreliable at the horizon and quantum gravity effects would be important there, consistent with the possibility that such effects would always intervene to prevent time machines from forming. A definite theoretical decision on the status of the chronology protection conjecture would require a full theory of quantum gravity as opposed to semi-classical methods. Experimental observation of closed time-like curves would of course demonstrate this conjecture to be false, but short of that, if physicists had a theory of quantum gravity whose predictions had been well confirmed in other areas, this would give them a significant degree of confidence in the theory's predictions about the possibility or impossibility of time travel. Other proposals that allow for backwards time travel but prevent time paradoxes, such as the Novikov self-consistency principle, which would ensure the timeline stays consistent or the idea that a time traveler is taken to a parallel universe while his original timeline remains intact, do not qualify as chronology protection.